Across the state, hate crime saw a 20.2% increase in 2022. That's according to a report from the California Department of Justice. The city of San Luis Obispo led the county in the number of reported hate crime events. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz spoke with community members and found out what some local organizations are doing about it. Hate is not something either Santa Barbara or San Luis Obispo County are immune to. And while their actions are not considered a crime, a group displaying white pride banners in Templeton and in San Luis Obispo have many residents feeling unsettled. Local residents have had enough. Immediately, I think it was just kind of anger in the way that they were here. That we knew that they were up, maybe up north or down south, doesn't make it any better, but we just hadn't usually seen that in this specific area. With white pride banners recently seen in San Luis Obispo and Templeton, it's left many residents upset. I've always felt it to be a welcoming space, so the fact that people went out of their way to wear the shirts or something that said white lives matter kind of bothered me because I didn't see this to be an area that would, that would be like that. I consider it a welcoming place. A hate crime report from the state shows Slow County had a total of 21 events. The city of Slow with the most reported. Santa Barbara County had a total of 17 events. Surprised in the way that I think we we think of the city as one of the more progressive spaces across the county. The number of unreported incidents may even be higher. I think that people don't know how to report an incident. I think they might be scared of retaliation. They might not have access to the technology that would enable them to track to track or report an incident. So we definitely believe that they are um, unfortunately underreported, which is quite scary when we look at the large number of incidents that are reported. The Anti-Defamation League is a nonprofit organization that works closely with law enforcement to track hate incidents throughout Ventura, San Luis Obispo, and Santa Barbara County. First thing we recommend is that if the public sees one of these banners, we we ask that they do not further amplify these hate messages by posting the sign or the banner online. Exposure is exactly what these fringe hate groups are looking for. The sheriff's office says they take all reports of hate crimes seriously, adding in part the sheriff's office is not aware of any active hate groups in the county. There are always going to be incidents which could fit into the mold of being a hate crime. However, they are usually isolated incidents and typically not carried out as a group. If that kind of thing happens, if hate crimes and that kind of thing are are perceived as hate crimes keeps happening. It's difficult for people to want to be here. We encourage residents to contact their elected officials because the best response to hate is a combination of communal condemnation and meaningful engagement. Information on resources and ways to report hate incidents can be found on our website, ksby.com. In San Luis Obispo, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. We reached out to the city of San Luis Obispo regarding the higher volume of hate crimes. An official said being the largest community in the county that is expected and that, quote, we partner very closely with our marginalized communities to provide support, build trust and promote confidence in the police. So if an incident is reported, we will work to provide support and follow up quickly.